Hey, welcome to Couples Drive, where married couples share their stories from when they met, courted, got married, and beyond. My name is Atu Boyan. This week, my guest is Nanea and Jonathan. Nanea and Jonathan got married recently and were so kind to accept my invitation to hitch a ride. And this is part one of my ride with Nanea and Jonathan. Take a look. Hey guys! Hello, hello. Hey! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Alright, so once again, welcome to Couples Drive. And what we do is we, you know, ride around with married couple, get to know them, their story, how they got together, and, you know, the beautiful story, as well as their ugly ones too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we don't leave anything out here. Alright? When did you guys get married again? August 12th. August 12th. I know you never forget that day. No. no. <laughs> how, how does it feel being married? John, being Mr. Yeah. John Sennett. Well, you know, I got to tell you, um, it's not at all what you expect. You know, um, in our communities, um, it's so rare now that young couples um, want to get married and do that thing right. um, and stay together so I find that we've gotten a lot more respect from mm -hmm. you know both our communities or both our churches to make that step to make that commitment before the Lord um, and it's like you said like people at my church call me Mr. Senate you know <laughs> call her call her Mrs. Senate you know and it's like oh my gosh so there's that a part change now. Is really, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a, another elevation of respect that you get. Um, now you said your communities. What community are you? So um, I'm um, Haitian American. My family is oh, from okay. Haiti. Um, we all know that Nana is Ghanaian. Nana, how about you, Mrs. Senate? Yes. Um, marriage is. Now, when people call you that, does it take a minute before you respond, or? No. I'm so, <laughs> I was so ready to be called Mrs. Senate. Oh, really? Way nice. before August 12th. Um, it, it feels nice. It feels nice to be recognized as his wife. Okay. Um, he makes me very proud to be his wife. So it's, it is different. It's not at all what you expected. Because, of course, growing, growing up you have these ideologies and, you know, um, you meet different people and expo or you're exposed to different marriages mm -hmm. so you think, you know, when it's your turn you get into it, it's going to kind of be like this. Not at all. <laughs> nope. How so? What <laughs> do you mean? Out, take out all, all those things that you had in your head of marriage mm -hmm. because honestly, when they say every marriage is unique, every marriage is unique. The two people in the marriage, the man and the woman, mm -hmm. make the marriage what it is supposed to be. And it's it's really up to you guys to either work for a good marriage or not work and reap a bad marriage. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Yes, God is in it because you will serve him. But you have to put your work into. I think uh, one of you told me that you met at a self-defense class. Yes. It? Cause I like to fight. <laughs> well, wait, what got you? What got you into, <laughs> no, into self-defense class in the first right, place? Let me let me break it down first. Okay, so there was this. Um, he was a substitute teacher at the time. At who, Jonathan? Uh, no, uh, the, the person. Who, oh, oh okay, yes. okay, okay. So he was a substitute teacher at the time, who later became like our official, the head of security, mm -hmm. the security administration at our school. Um, and he's certified in a specific type of martial arts. So he um, he asked if I wanted to come. And I said, yeah, I mean, what kind of question is that? Of course I would like to come. Because he saw me in gym and how like active and gun ho I was. Uh -huh. So then I went. And it was after two classes that John rolls through when I was in the class. And... 
one other guy that was actually in school with me mm -hmm. was his cousin. Oh. That's how I got involved in the class. Yeah. Because my cousin said, you should come to this class. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that's how we met. Um, and then we were friends ever since. Did you guys get to spar? Yeah, we sparred. Oh, you did? We sparred a couple of times. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who was, who was good? Which? Yeah. 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 No, because everybody knew it. My secret move, they called me the tigress. Uh -huh. Because I just go for your throat. I, I put you in a show cold, or I'll just grab your throat and try and get you down. Because I'm small. I don't have time to try and, you know... John, is that how she got you to me. follow her? She's, she's worse She's worse now. <laughs> <laughs> she goes for other parts of the body. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> When we spar now, I'm like, hey, no, nothing below the belt. <laughs> so, it's as she said, you know. So, do you, do you guys butt head sometimes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do butt heads. Um, we do. But it's not because, I, I've noticed that it's not really because we don't get along. It's more because we want each other to understand the our, perspe our, our yeah. perspectives. Yeah. yeah, so a lot of the times, you know... Um, before getting married, we'd argue and then realize, no, I just want to tell you what I what I want to say. Just mm -hmm. listen to me. So that's one of the things that we've worked on um, mm -hmm. and gotten better at. And I've gotten a lot better at just listening more. I get I gotta say because I'm very uh, you're a fixer. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I want to. I hear your problem or what I perceive to be a problem. And I want to give you a solution. And a lot of the time, she didn't want to hear a solution. She just wanted me to listen to what she mm. had to say. So I've learned to just, okay, okay. And even even if I have an opinion, I, I save that for myself. I reserve that. And if she asks me for my opinion, excuse me, I, I respond and, and say that. Um, but yeah, you know, you talk about following her. Um, that's kind of what led us to go to the next step in our relationship because all these years we were just friends we never dated we didn't you know do anything but be friends and talk and we've always been really good at, at communicating yeah. with each other how long ago was this um Ooh, man, 13 years ago 13 years that we yeah. met yeah when did you guys actually become you know like interested in, you know interested in each that other realize that three years ago three years ago yeah that was in 2014. Yep. Well, yeah. So what happened within that span of time? I mean, we would, like, when I was still in high school, we would still hang out. Like, we, all of us would hang out. It wouldn't just be, like, him and I. Uh -huh. Like, we'd hang out with his have, sister and yeah. his cousin. Mutual friends. Yeah. And... Like, we'd, we'd sometimes go out. Like, we'd go to the mall. Or we'd all hang out. Like, I think one time, was it you or Mommy and Papi that invited me over? It was some kind of dinner thing. And I went She's there. been to my church. Yeah. Oh, like okay. We'd, we'd, we were always around each other, but it was never, like, in a romantic way. Yeah. Yep. And okay. then three years ago, I saw a picture of her, actually, on Instagram. Uh -huh. And... I wish I could show y'all the picture. Like... I... You know, I just saw... I was looking crazy. I don't know what he was saying. They don't saying. need to know all of that. What they need to know <laughs> is... I saw her in a different light okay. than I've seen her before, um, and I saw what I li I liked what I saw, and I hit her up. I said, you know, hey, how you doing? What's up? And we have this thing, and it's kind of a joke between the two of us that we would t we um, not talk to each other for a little bit, then we talk to each other again. Hey, how's everything? Okay, let's hang out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna hang out. Never and we hang never out. hang <laughs> out, you know. And then finally. Three years ago, I was very adamant about us. No, this time we're no, we're gonna hang out. <laughs> so we did, and we just kept hanging yeah. out and hanging out and hanging out, and you and know, you when, finally hanged out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I asked her. Wait, so know. was there any point that you guys maybe lost contact or maybe yeah, went for her. maybe a year, two years without? Yes. yes. Oh, you were just. Oh, there was a gap. Yeah, there was yeah. a small gap. Um, and that's because the type of work I was doing was mm -hmm. very um, demanding, um, and I barely went out myself. Okay. So I missed a couple of her 
messages. Facebook messages, mm-hmm. and and it's funny. I'm I I maybe a month ago we were going through our, my Facebook, and I saw the last message that she sent me. She's like, "Where are you? What's going on? I haven't talked to you. What's what's up?" And I'm like, "How did I miss this message?" <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, but you know, God had a, a hand in everything that was going yeah. on. Because right. before we even um, met up with you, we were talking about that too. Uh-huh. Like, the, the the everything that happened that led us to this point, mm-hmm. you know, um, and God knew, you know, what He was doing. He yeah. He was preparing us for each other, um, and I gotta tell you, He's the one that ordained this, and without Him, we wouldn't be here today. Yeah, uh, what were we even talking about? Was it was it yesterday that we were talking about this? How we were? I was saying that honestly, it's good that He did it the way He did it because. If we would have tried to get romantically involved way back then, it would have ruined us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was I was a hothead when I was younger. I did not was, have the was patience. A baby. baby. Mm-hmm. What? The oh. patience. The patience. <laughs> See, the I patience. did not have the patience. Like I I was just very like, I don't have time for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like if you're not gonna roll with me the way I wanna do it, when I wanna do it, how I wanna do it, get out of my face. Yeah, <laughs> very much like that. So I feel like Jonathan, you must have us. done a lot of prayers. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> with we some both fa- have. With some fasting, right? <laughs> <laughs> we both have. <laughs> For sure. Oh, okay. right, well, so, how was that three years like from the time you guys, you know, became serious with each other up until marriage? How was it like yeah. getting to know each other? It was different. It was there was different. a lot of growth. Yeah. A lot of growth. Yeah. Because I remember when we first started courting, there was one, I think there was a turning point at like the two year mark where we got into a very, very big argument. It was, it was a heated argument. My fault. I started it. Um, Isn't that always the case? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that is not always the case. Well. Um, but. It's funny because he, as we were about to go our separate ways. Mm. Oh, it got to that point? It got to that yeah, point I know, was where bad. we were about to go our separate ways. And he said a prayer in his head. He And he later told me this. He said that, oh God, please let her turn around or else I'm ending this. And apparently, as soon as he had said that was when I turned around. Yeah. And oh, I wow. looked right at him. And he he was startled. He and when I think back at it, I was like, why was he, like, pushing back like that? But he later told me that it was because he was startled. Like, it was so sudden. He had said it in his head, asked God, and then I immediately did it. Yeah. Mm. So that, That's no joke. that was, like, our, our like, cement stamp. Yes, mm-hmm. like, no, God, God, is, God is with us. Yeah. That was it. I, if I've ever had a question about our relationship, mm-hmm. That was the last time I ever questioned it. And I don't question it to this day. I don't care how, how mad she gets me. I don't like her to upset me. <laughs> and I, I don't mean to upset her. There are a lot of times we upset each other. This is being us being human beings. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't realize that you're doing something to upset another person. Um, but listen, we're human beings. We're going to make mistakes. Right. But at the end of the day, the person, the one that set up marriage in the first place that ordained marriage as long as you keep him in charge keep him in the midst mm-hmm. of you and your your spouse it doesn't matter what the situation will be he will work you through it mm-hmm. you know yeah, and on, that's been a true testament on, on that note what what do you think is one thing or some of the things about your wife that well <laughs> you, you 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 hate it before you guys got married and you still hate it now <laughs> But because you love her, you are still adjusting to it. Yes. Um, what is it? Tell me. She is extremely stubborn. Mm. Oh, so stubborn. And she questions everything. Mm. So Is that a bad thing or a good thing? It's good and bad. Okay. <laughs> because I don't mind... When she's questioning facts with other people. Okay. But I see why she would do that. You're not sure. You know the person. What they're saying. Is it really true? You know. 
where does it say that in the Bible? She used to ask me that all the time. Where in the Bible does it say that? Mm. Show me the scripture. But when I'm saying something, first of all, why would I lie to my wife? Mm -hmm. I have no need, no reason to lead her astray. But she still, and that's just a part of her, she needs proof. <laughs> that used to irk me uh -huh. so much because it makes me like, why are you questioning me? But it, it's not really me she's questioning. You know, and that's what I've had to learn about her. And these are the things that you're going to learn about mm -hmm. your spouse as you, you grow together in a, in a relationship, as you grow in a marriage. Daniel, do you share the same thing? Hit, 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 There are hit. things I didn't know that I found out uh -oh. once we got married. Yeah. Uh-oh. Like, he has this thing where he comes home mm -hmm. and he takes... <laughs> it's like a free-for-all. <laughs> the keys go here. The belt goes there. The socks go here. The shoes go there. And I'm very particular. And you do have a, 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 I don't even know what to call that machine. It's just a thing. Only for ties. Mm -hmm. you only hang ties on it. So why would you throw your tie somewhere else when the thing is there? You just have to t hang your tie mm -hmm. on it. So it's something that, you know, in the beginning, I did, like, not want to talk about it because I didn't want to sound like a nag. Mm -hmm. But it just bothered me so much that finally I was like, babe, why do you do that? Like, you can simply just walk a couple of more inches and put your shoes away in the closet. It doesn't have to go on the floor so I can trip all over it. And you know I trip all over it. She always trips <laughs> Oh, you really? Yeah. So it's it's little things like that. It's I've, I've learned that we have to stay in communication. Yeah. Even if I don't like it, if I'm keeping it into myself, how's he supposed to know? Right. And correct okay. it. Okay. We have but has it gotten better? Oh, yeah. Way better. Yeah, definitely. Because our communication has gotten better. Yeah. And for her, I mean, in both directions? Oh, yeah. No, okay. For sure. You know, she, um, a lot of the times, she'll come to want to say something to me. And um, it's been misconstrued or misconveyed that, like, I don't want to listen to her. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't want to listen to her. It's the timing is off. It's just not the right time, Okay. you know, to come and talk to me and sometimes it's the same for her she's just like I'm this is not the t don't I'm not in the right place <laughs> for you to come talk to me and I'm like babe I gotta talk to you I gotta t I gotta tell you this I gotta and, and she's just like no and you we get offended at each mm -hmm. with each other because we think that we don't want to talk to each other it's like no I, it's not that we don't want to talk to each other it's yeah, like the timing, the timing you know right. you know that's the thing that you have to learn um, one of the things I, I confide, I finally confided in her is I'm used to having my own space. Mm -hmm. Th it was mine, alone. <laughs> when I wanted to get away, you know, from my parents or my siblings, I went into my room, mm -hmm. I closed the door. That's my safe, safe place. And now I have, not a stranger, but basically this new person in my, in our new bedroom. Okay. You know, and I'm used to equating the bedroom as my place. It's no longer my place. Right. It is now our, our place. place. You know, our bedroom is our place. So when I want to get away, I'm like, why are you here? here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like that. It's it's you have to be here in our in our space right. together. It's now our space. Um, you know, that and I get really hot at night. So like cuddling. <laughs> It's really hard. <laughs> She's like, "Why don't you touch me?" <laughs> I I get hot, you know. And she she realized, you know, my God, no, my my I have a really hot body temperature. So it's all these little these little things you just have to get used to, you know. So is that is that something you would say is a is a kind of language love language that you have to pay attention to? Yes, yes. yes. You really have to take the time to find out your spouse's love language, mm -hmm. but not just find it out, then take action and do something about it. Hey, welcome back, and thank you for sticking around for part one of my ride with Nana and Jonathan. And I hope you picked up one or two for your own relationship. Please make sure you subscribe to our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. And hey, if you're married or know anyone who is and would like to hitch a ride with me, please go to our website, couplesdrive.com, couplesdrive.com, and send us a note and we'll get back to you. 
And I'll see you next time with part two of my ride with Anaya and Jonathan. Until then, stay blessed and let's keep love alive.